Man. That's tough. Man. That's so sad. This close, man. This fucking close. Ah. Okay, hold on one second. I'll tell the story in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, that sucks. Okay. One sec. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Torbjin. Hold on. I think it's a little bit too high. All right. So at like 6.15 tonight, or, or like 5.45, I, I, uh, I got added to a group. Well, actually, no. I've been in a group for a little bit. With like a bunch of uh, content creators and stuff, and like it's it's the people in the in the in the lobby, and at like five thirty, I got hit up. Hey, Among Us VR. Uh, it's in an hour and a half. I don't own a VR headset, so I run out to Target. I go buy it. I bring it home, set it up. Everything's good. My right hand doesn't work. Whatever. I'll do my left hand. It's fine. I'll just play one-handed. I lost my other one in an accident on the ship or something. First off, the resolution was crazy high. The resolution was, like, crazy high, and the game was super laggy. And it was, like, uh, it was just super stuttery. And I found out how to change the resolution, and then it looked okay. It was a little scuffed, but whatever. So, that happens. Hand doesn't work. But I'm like, okay, whatever. It's fine. Then, the cable that I use to connect is very flimsy. So, at one point, it shut off. It, like, unclipped, and then I got kicked out of the lobby. There's another person trying to get in that lobby at all times. They're hitting the button so that they could get in. And I'm like, no, 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 I had a spot. Please, please, please. So, I'm also doing that, okay? Then, I finally get it all working, okay? Okay? My right hand isn't working, but whatever. The headset's working. Everything's good. It, it, the, the frame rate's fine. Everything's good. And I black screen or blue screen. I blue screen. I'm like, fuck. Whatever. Computer reboot, start it back up. Blue screen again. One more time. Computer, whatever, start it back up. Freezes. And it just won't stop. And now it's 8.50, and I'm like, ah, I don't want to keep holding up a spot in these guys' lobby. So I said, okay, you know what? You guys can find a sub. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate it, but tough. I, I don't know what it is. Also, the headset's dying, and it's, not, it's dying faster than it's charging. So it started tonight at 30. Now it's at like 8. So even all things working, everything good, it'll die in like an hour. Man. So sad. Meta sucks ass. I don't know anything about it. I just, it was one that was here. I'm returning that shit. <laughs> I had like an hour. I had like an hour to get everything up and running. This is when I was eating dinner. I was eating dinner with Mal. And I was like, oh shit, this happened. And I was like, alright, I ran out the door. So. Man. Well. I gotta eat the rest of my dinner. <laughs> this is now a mukbang stream. Let's talk. I had water. I don't know where it is now. Among Us VR? Shut up. <laughs> don't remind me. And also, look at the fucking decay. Look what happened to me. Do you see this? Unbelievable. I was so sad. I got so close. To play Among Us in VR with the sus guy himself, right? Man. What a dream. The sus guy. <laughs> what can you do? You could have said faded than a hoe to 200 viewers. Yup, yup. Kill somebody, plug, plug. Shall we? <laughs> But hey, 
It was a long shot anyway, right? Oh, God. Why is it so dark? Do you see this? It's, like, darker than normal. Huh? Am I crazy? Doesn't it seem darker to you? I wonder what that is. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm kind of sad. That would have been a lot of fun. That's weird. Did you buy a quest just for this? Yeah, like half an hour before. <laughs> when you had VR on, it was bright as shit. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. That's because I bought new lights. One second. Look. Looks better, right? Looks way better. That's much nicer. My face isn't quite lit up, but there you go. It's just not, it's not like daylight, you know what I mean? Like the daylight was like darker, you know? I think it's, uh, I think it's because the camera like turned off and then on. And I think it adjusts the light settings like when it boots. I don't know. Really brings out the hole in your closet door. I'll fix it at some point. I threw out the slat though, so. Okay. Thank you, Wayu. I'm enjoying this very normal stream. Me too. Thank you. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the cam off and then back on. One sec. Okay. Hold on. Maybe this will fix. You? Uh, actually, hold on. It's a little bit brighter, right? A little bit, I guess. Good. Yeah, I was supposed to play Among Us tonight. So sad. Well, content marches on because I leave tomorrow. And I'm going to be gone for a couple days. So. What's that? Or is that sub decay? I know. That's your fault. Where's my support? Okay. Oh, where's the audio? Huh? Oh, it's because I did this. Hold on. I'll play it again. Because I do do the Oculus one. Dude, VR is weird. It's hard to set up. Okay. There he is. A fourth and eight events lead to big things. You need to drink ooh, with both to get your wings up to cunning now, and he will give you his wings. <laughs> Why does he get mad? He gets, like, mad over time. He is a rage passive. That's his flow? That's just how he talks, not even his flow. It's just his pattern of speech. All right. Well, uh, I did have another plan for tonight. I did have something else we were doing until I was so graciously invited to a game of sussy mungus so we'll do that instead okay i just feel so annoyed because i spent legit like two hours trying to make this shit work And it doesn't! Is 
Is that hoodie for sale anywhere? No, it's gone. Used to be for sale on the, um... What is it called? Shop. Summit Shop. It's gone now, though. Dude, why is it so dark? That's weird. Seems darker than normal, right? Thanks, Seinfeld. What's good? It's probably because I was, like, switching out the ports on the, uh, on the thing to try to get it working, but I'll figure it out later. Strange. Maybe if I do... Hold on. I'll make it brighter. Yup. That's really weird. Okay. Why was it foggy? That was just the brightness. I was straight up the brightness slider, bro. Oh, I heard about the Pokemon spoilers. Not to talk about them, because I know you guys probably don't want to be spoiled. So, you know, don't talk about it. But we talked about it at the uh, in the podcast today. We recorded. Jacob showed me all of them. And honestly, they kind of suck. <laughs> I'm not into them. I like a couple of them. But not many. Is it more like an Arceus or more like a sword and shield, though? Because he said it was like a mix of both. And I don't know what that means. Both. Okay. <laughs> See, I d again, I don't... I, what does that even mean? Can I talk about... Okay, I'm not going to spoil anything. But I will talk about one Pokemon. One exactly. Okay? I won't spoil it. But... That LeChonk evolution? What were they thinking? It's just a pig? It's an ugly pig. I saw it and immediately said Coney will hate it. You thought right. Okay. In other news, that isn't quite as sad. Hold on. Where's my button? Hold on. Sorry, I'm eating, by the way. I had to set this up in the middle of eating, and now I'm hungry. Dude, what if I get another piece of broccoli stuck in my teeth? That's one of the worst stream segments of all time. Okay. Sorry I'm so scrambled. Tonight has been a scrambled stream. Oh, whoever donated, by the way, saying that the audio was fucked up, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, could, I did not know. I, uh... I couldn't figure out how to get the chat on the stream. Apparently, you gotta, like, add another app and shit. But thanks for the money, everybody. Most impulsive stream of the year. It's up there. So, when I was recording... Hold on. Oh, my God, really? Okay. <laughs> Check this out. 
I want to show you something. Okay. Yes! Who's that? Oh, it's because I changed the thing. Whoops. I'll fix it so it's not so dark next time. Just keep holding. It's fine. Is Coney playing Among Us VR? Shut up! I tried. It broke. All right. So. I was on the podcast today. And Alpharad and I were talking about fucking with corporations. And he... Talked about his feud with Chili's, right? And I told him about this. <laughs> this is a tweet from 2015. In which I say that an Arby's employee has swapped out my fountain drink with a can. Now, dear viewer, what you may not know is that this was a trick. For you see, this was a leftover can, and it did not come from Arby's. When Arby's replied, we're sorry to hear this, which Arby's restaurant did you visit? I said, just jokes. Thank you for caring. Very nice of them. But today, a little over seven years later, I thought, I want to do that again. And I was talking with Jacob. I was like, oh, I would have to go to Arby's. I would have to, like, get the drink. I would have to do... And he said, dude, just tweet the same picture. And I was like... <laughs> I actually hit the shock. I was like, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I, I, For some reason, I thought if I tweeted the same picture, they'd be like, ah, motherfucker. You lying ass. I thought I would get in trouble, you know. Uh, No. Actually, everything, it, it, it worked out. The funny thing is, once again, wait. By the way, this stopped the original. 230 likes, right? Damn. <laughs> Are, this one was a nuisance. This one is a problem. For Arby's. They're in trouble now. Arby's is in trouble. They deleted it? Wait, did they? <laughs> no way. Hold on, let me see. Oh, did they stop? They were one of, one of my new followers. <gasps> they unfo- No, there they are. <laughs> Arby's cares. Did they delete it? Oh, no, they did. It's still there. Oh, they're still there. <laughs> they don't know. They do not know. <laughs> That poor employee. You know what the crazy th is thing is? That is definitely a different employee. <laughs> but what if it wasn't? What if that's the same guy seven years later I'm harassing with a complete lie? And this time I didn't even eat at Arby's. <laughs> this time was a straight up fabrication. Did you see what happened with... They sent a push notification to people with the app in Germany to commemorate Crystal Natched by getting cheesy chicken at Kif Cheese. They have cheese? Is that like a... Is that like a holiday over there? Ah, when I searched Kristallnacht, it came up. KFC apologizes after German Kristallnacht promotion. Promotion? <laughs> um... An error in our system? 
It's Memorial Day for Crystal. <laughs> Treat yourself with a... Wait a minute. An error in your system. Treat yourself with crystal knock. Dude, what? So it was a bot. Does this bot just say like input holiday? How is that an error? I guess they probably have something where it just has like notable dates and it just plops it in and says, hey, on X date, come to KFC for Y, you know? That's crazy. We are very sorry. That is not normally. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Link to calendars that include national observances. Can't wait for 9 11. <laughs> Happy 9-11. Stop on in for a nice 12-piece bucket. One of the funniest 9-11 jokes I've ever seen is that onion one. Have you guys seen that? You will never forget this deal. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. KFC basically did this. Not even that good of a deal, honestly. Thanks, butt face. Guys, it's not real. That's a super good deal. It's just $5 footlongs, but a dollar less. Not even. You see the Virginia Country Club one? No. $5 footlongs don't exist anymore? Yeah, for now. Inflation took that from us. We were fine before. What went wrong with VR? Shit just blue screen my computer. Vince is telling, has been telling me forever I need a two PC setup, and I'm like, ah, it's fine. I'll just get a one really good rig. Well, <laughs> apparently I should have had two. Seafood Sunday. Pentagon pie. <laughs> 2977 chowder first responder flatbread. Remember Teeny? Oh my god. I mean it's 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 coming from a place of a, a good place, right? They're trying to be respectful. Dude, this fucking image is killing me. Oh my god. That's actually smart. Smart? <laughs> That's what you would call it? Huh? I wonder why my, uh, my camera's all dark. We here at KFC would like to apologize for our recent tweet promoting our double down sandwich for the anniversary of 9-11. This tweet was the result of an error in our system. All right. Hold the subway image up longer for the thumbnail? No. We got our chuckle, and we're done. No more. All right. Let's go, Sonic got a W. Fuck you, Coney. Wait, Sonic the Hedgehog? You call that game a W? If it's a W, it's lowercase. That shit's... 
tiny. Relax. No way. It's fine. It's not even really a Sonic game. You could put Gex. You could put Bugs Bunny. You could put any character in that game and it would be the same. Just give them soap shoes. What 3D Sonic game is better? Uh, that, that, I, I don't care about clearing the 3D Sonic game bar. <laughs> I don't care about that. I care about objective good or bad. Those aren't good. None of them? No! Oh, but Generations. Shut up about Generations. Okay. Everybody, shut up! We're watching a movie tonight. I don't know how long tonight's stream is going to be, because I have a lot of stuff to do before I, uh, before I leave tomorrow to go to the lake. Oh, sorry about not streaming yesterday. Uh, I'm traveling a lot soon. So I'm gone tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Get I, I come back Monday, but in midday. Then I stream Tuesday, Wednesday. Then I go to Canada Thursday, Friday. Come back. No. Go to Canada Thursday. Fly in for Friday, Saturday. Come back from Canada Sunday. Stream that day. Uh, stream on Monday, Tuesday. No stream Wednesday, Juliet's birthday. No stream Thursday, that's Thanksgiving. No stream Friday. Maybe. I'm very busy. So I wanted a night off, and I got it. There you go. I almost had two nights off tonight. That sucks. I almost had another one because that shit wasn't working. <laughs> All right, I... I have another one of these videos. Even though I don't think I trust him. Uh, you remember the guy that made the, the roller coaster jump scares? <laughs> he made another one with dark rides. Side. But All the last one didn't right, hit. A giant rubber duck appears with a loud quacking sound. <laughs> you... Well, Implication B, wait a minute. Hopping into your bathtub. Not going to lie, this is one of the most adorable- Wait, what's number one? Dinosaur Disney's Animal Kingdom, Snow White's Enchanted Wish. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay, no, this sucks. Is that Hagrid? Didn't he die? Now it's sad. Because he's a go- Oh my god! Haunted Mansion and Nobles. Oh, Cat in the Hat? Is this when the... It's admittedly pretty dated. Hold on. Its set design isn't yeah, much Yeah, there's a jump scare about. in this. And to be honest, it's kind of... For Thing 1 and Thing 2, <laughs> they're the next subject on this list. At one... Bro, when this shit happened, I was f spooked. Point, Cat Look at opens this. up a red box, and all of a sudden... Ah! Thing 2 <laughs> comes sprinting out of it. Their movement... Look at the way they erratic, walk. Which is often taken many passengers by surprise. One hilarious TikTok even has someone oh. screaming in terror at the sight of these guys. <laughs> I love those. Read the creepypasta of this. There's a creepypasta of this? <coughs> Who did that? Oh, my God. <coughs> Do you see that new first-person body cam type horror game? Yeah, I saw it, and I got annoyed because the developer won't shut the fuck up. His Twitter is so obnoxious. Have you guys seen it? I'm not trying to be an asshole, but, like, hold on. This is going to start some drama. I don't want to start drama. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Daddy. So they put out this Daddy. footage, right? Come here, boy. Oh, what has got into him? Daddy. Damn, that looks good, right? Daddy, come on this is now. a game? That's what they said. Teddy, for fuck's sake. They said it's a game uh, with, like, a body cam style. You know what I mean? Which is, like, kind of neat, right? It looks really good. It looks awesome. It looks very exciting. However, all of his tweets now are just, like, verified account. This account is verified because its trailer scared the shit out of everybody. Uh, 
when your pet hears a bag crinkle. It's the same thing. Wishlist, my game. Um, Dr. Disrespect, retweeting that. Content creators, check it out. Uh, everybody, react to this. Look at this. If you're a YouTuber, check it out. If you, It's just like... But he's nice, right? He's just enjoying the fame that he has, right? I just... Oh, <laughs> I show speed? He's playing the game. Yeah, it's not his fault. It's a marketing thing. It's just like... I don't want to tweet every day about the same... Tri just, just, you know, d d work on the game, you know? You got the buzz. You got the hype. Let's just... I, I don't blame him. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I look at it and I'm like, dude, every day it's Hello Neighbor again with Matt Pat. Well, I, I don't want to call it Hello Neighbor. That seems mean. I think the Hello Neighbor one is, that's kind of fucked up. Hello Neighbor was never good. <laughs> Hello Neighbor is never a good game. Okay. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this. Everyone, today is the day. Today is finally the day it happened. Finally, a video worth talking about. There's finally something on YouTube worth watching that isn't just like schlock or content or every day getting high in a lows. Or a Carl's Jr. Or a Home Depot. <laughs> Fade in the hole. Fade in the hole. Fade in the If you don't know what I'm talking about, this isn't going to make any sense. No. Today is the day to talk about... Actually, hold on. I want to talk about one tweet really quick. Uh, cut the YouTube intro for a second because this shit has pissed me off. Cut the YouTube tweet or the YouTube intro. I want to show off a tweet that really fucking annoyed me. <laughs> Just, just cut this out, and then we'll come back later, okay? The other day, I made this joke. This dude is the rock for people born after 2005, okay? Because he just says his five lines, and everybody loves it. That's it, okay? He's, he has five quotes that he uses. It's just a stupid joke. And all I got were kids from the age of 15 to 19... Replying to me, LOL, I don't know who this is. Mm, who is this? Everybody, I don't know who that is. Everybody, who's that? I don't know. I want somebody to tell me who it is because I'm different. Everybody, look at me. Who's that? I don't know who that is. So fucking annoying. These tweets are obnoxious. You got ratioed incredibly hard. That's not what ratio means. Ratio doesn't mean comments. Does it? <laughs> Hold on. Also, look at this. I opened, uh, I got some Pokemon cards in my, in, uh, <laughs> I said my Halloween bag. Juliet's Halloween bag, which is really mine because she doesn't eat candy. Uh, payout, by the way. Yup. I didn't, I've never heard of Phantom. I didn't even know who that was. Dude, look at this. How many comments? 232. That's not that many. I got a couple more here because people were annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> These fucking band kids. I don't know who that is. Why don't you post a picture of Bernadette Peters? I do theater. <laughs> you fucking geeks. Nobody knows who it is. That's the fucking joke. He's not The Rock. Whatever. Okay, uh, cut back to the YouTube intro. Finally, there's content worth discussing here on the YouTube platform, but I can't wait to watch it. Tier Zoo has put out his most ambitious video yet. It is the insect tier list. There's like 30 million of these bastards. There are so many of these little guys, and he has taken the liberty of tearing them all, each and every one. Let's go on a journey together and find out what the best bug is. Is it? Oh my god, it's number five on trending. Let's go, dude. I love Tier Zoo. That's my guy. Genuinely a great dude. And I say this every time. Handsome, too. I don't know. For some reason, I thought that a guy that did like zoological videos about like tearing animals in a, in a, in like a, 
in, in a real world context, like it's a game, wouldn't be attractive. I was wrong. He's a good looking guy. I just throwing it out there. I don't know why I always have to mention that. It just really struck me. <laughs> All right, let's start up the insect tier list and see where my favorite insect falls, shall we? Show us a picture of him. No, that would be weird. He didn't consent to that. Play of the game. Ask him what sports humans with tails would dominate. How big are the tails? Like kangaroos? Because if so, you could do like soccer kicks. Coney, what's your favorite insect? Probably some kind of beetle. What's that wrestling beetle? Probably that one. <laughs> Wait, it won? I need a healing. Yo, what? What's a Jack Jumper ant? He killed him? I need a healing. That guy rules. I've never heard of that ant. Insects are one of I the can't most wait broken to ever hear about. the game has ever seen. Nowhere else in nature will you find such an incredible concentration of abilities that are not only overpowered, but also extremely unique. I hate bugs, by the way. This this might be a tough watch. It's tough to even know where to start when talking about what makes insects such a successful group. Because in a lot of cases, it's not just that yeah, their those, individual I abilities love those. are Beetles. overpowered. Flip but it's like watching Battle like should be oh, cases. Shit. It's not just that their individual abilities are overpowered. Bro, he got picked up? This is like, uh, it's like Kazuya. It's like holding him over the cliff. Or like he has his sword in his throat. Damn. But some of them feel like Cody when tears who starts talking about mosquitoes. I want to see no mosquitoes on this shit. They should be. I better not see no mosquitoes. Since they're just insanely OP when used in combination with one another. You'll see what I mean once I get into the tier list. But first, damn three and S. Answer probably S, right? For like the hive mind ability. A brief overview Surely. of the insect faction's general attributes and history. Insects were added to the game during the early Carboniferous expansion. The devs bumped up the atmospheric oxygen level, which allowed members of the arthropod faction to adopt larger Ew. sizes and more costly abilities. Ew. And while most of the arthropod player base was trying to dominate the land oh by their God. size, Good. Die. Kill a small offshoot of the crustacean player base Extinct opted that to shit. forego the gigantism trait and instead used this oxygen bonus to unlock an ability never before seen in game, flight. Because these new creatures were the very first to gain the ability to fly, the air became entirely their domain for the time being, oh, and would remain cheap. that way until reptiles unlocked the ability several expansions later. Imagine seeing a flying thing for the first fucking time. <laughs> You've never seen anything fly before, and then something either takes your food or fly. That would piss me off, dude. Insects are extremely. You better just kill me. I would chase friends. after it. In fact, they're so diverse Gotta land that it's impossible to include and them then it all lands in a, a tree. video. I'll be keeping things fairly generalized. That is not normally. Told many of the groups I'll be discussing today have so many standout members that they could easily be Ew. an entire tier list in and of themselves. Oh, we're doing so like. Tough to pin down their oh, we're doing actions, like umbrellas. Hell yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Being members of the arthropod faction. All insects are granted the exoskeletal armor perk. Spider is definitely S, their AC right? Spider has to be body S. Builds of similar sizes, with the only downside being a massive reduction in those same defensive stats for a short time every time the player levels up. This makes insects quite tanky. Not on average. insects? Come on. We're not doing this, right? <laughs> They're insects. Insects are bugs. They count. Allowing them to excel in combat. The I bet he counts them. You're going to look really silly when he counts them. You're going to look really silly. Which grants them vastly really silly. compared to other arthropods like scorpions and centipedes. With 360 degree vision, their ability to avoid obstacles, dodge attacks, and pursue targets while flying is far superior to most other flyers. This enhanced perception perk is important because insects tend to have naturally high stealth. So in order to compete with other insect builds, acute oh. vision is required. We've only just scratched Ugh. the surface of the insane abilities insects have Bottom? access to, though. Bottom is... Who's the worst insect? A worm. Is a worm an insect? <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> For a more in-depth look, let's get into the tier It's list. a worm! What? At the bottom of the tier list, we have the silverfish. The silverfish is the most primitive insect build still in existence. It kind of blurs the line between what is and is not considered an insect, and not in a good way. 
Unlike other flightless insects, which decided to respec and drop the flight ability in favor of more refined strategies, the silverfish build actually never had access to it in the Fuck first place. Fuck these things? What? Aside silverfish? From having an exoskeleton, they don't really have any of the abilities I've never that even make heard of these. powerful. They do not have wings and have essentially no combat abilities. They have fairly low defenses and get bodied left and right by pretty much everything, with their only Bro, that useful stat being their decently high movement speed. Dude, if I saw that, I would just be like, that's a bug. <laughs> I would not know what to call that. It's like an earwig. You guys ever see an earwig and you're like, what the fuck is that? It's just a bug. Their special ability allows them to they gain come out XP of your dreams. Do they? I've never had that issue. Earwigs had the pinchers. Dude, I once, I'm going to tell you guys this. This is true. I once had an earwig in here. Scariest moment of my life. Yeah. I put the headset on, and I felt it. And, like, they're called earwigs because there's a whole thing about them crawling into your ear and laying eggs. It's not true, but I think that's why they're called that because it's like a, a myth or something. So, yeah. Is it not? No, they don't do that. Unless one of them... Yeah, one of them might be piloting my brain. <laughs> I'm being ratatouille by an earwig. They're totally safe. Go ahead and leave your windows and doors open tonight. <laughs> Maybe put out like a, some damp soil on your windowsill. They won't show up. You're fine. Cellulose and lignin, meaning they can farm XP from wooden structures, which normally don't grant any experience. This ability would be fairly powerful in forest Damn, biomes, two frogs? but because they're such weak combatants, they tend to actually stick to urban areas, <laughs> feeding on things like paper and that cloth dude was in the extra relative dead. safety of houses, apartments, and office spaces. Even there, they aren't completely safe, though. Kill it. And while no build is ever truly safe in the insect meta... Wait. At first, I thought that was a mad big spider, and then I realized that's the... Sp that's the silverfish. I was like, damn, that's a big-ass silverfish. The silverfish's extreme lack of useful abilities places it firmly in F tier. How Back stupid. He's looking right at him. <laughs> Bro, move. The silverfish's Do extreme something. lack of useful abilities places it firmly in F tier. That's honestly the only insect build I believe deserves an F tier ranking. What Most about insects worms? insects are quite viable, and even the less viable ones tend to have at least a few useful things going for them even if those things aren't necessarily broken. First, in D tier, we have the Phasmid build, nah, which that includes shit's walking sneaky, sticks bro. and leaf no. mimics. These builds sport that what are unquestionably <laughs> some of the most the impressive camouflage abilities in the entire game. That Second, shit's only sneaky. to color-changing builds like the Octopus and Chameleon. As impressive as these are, though, the question I constantly end up asking is, is this really necessary? Because with the exception well, of insects die. which deliberately lower their stealth as part of the aposematic coloration strategy, insects as a whole already have an above average stealth and are usually able well, to maintain this while still specking into other equally impressive no, 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 abilities. No, 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 but that one's their super stealth. Their camouflage can only take them so far. While they're near undetectable Stop walking! they remain motionless, <laughs> walking sticks still need to move to find food. And while they do mimic the movement of a swaying oh, leaf or branch, this certainly isn't perfect. In fact, Wait, is that why they do it? Oh my god, that's so cool. I didn't know that. Neat. Check this guy out. In fact, if they're ever caught in an environment <laughs> where camouflage doesn't match as well, their instincts to sway and move can actually end up giving their position away even more, <laughs> rather than aiming no, their attempts No, I got stick bugged. Some Again? Some specimens do possess chemical defenses, but as we'll see Ew. further up the tier list, this attack is quite mild compared to the heat <laughs> some other insects are packing. His ass does not care. His ass is just looking. He's getting, he's getting whatever this this juice is Further sprayed on. Tier list, this attack is quite mild oh, never mind. He's like, oh, some other ow, actually, attack. that shit hurt. Phasmids have a similar game plan to sloths, complete with all the major flaws. Is that a tail? Do sloths have tails? with all the major flaws this strategy looks is weird. built with. Although at least Phasmids don't, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. all common sense and make a dangerous trek know. to the forest floor once a week just to poop. Next in D tier, we have the Lepidopterans, the faction which includes moths, butterflies, and skippers. 
At first glance, these may seem like absolute bottom tier builds. They're among yeah, they the most vulnerable fight. builds in the game when it comes to combat. And they with die in the rain! With defensive stats and utterly abysmal offensive abilities. Many of the larval forms of these builds are 100% defenseless and have a mobility stat Ugh. in single digits. Literally the freest kills in the game. <laughs> However, the Leopard player base is quite crafty and has come up with a few ways of at least sort of mitigating their many weaknesses. Caterpillars okay. and adult Leopards alike can adopt quite convincing disguises. Some designed to help them blend in, and some designed to intimidate. Yo! That's cool! I didn't know they could do that! I'm scared! <laughs> That's so cool! Granted, these strategies- Oh, never mind. Didn't work. <laughs> That bird would eat a snake, too. That bird just got a bonus. Often don't hold up against high intelligence. The hell no. High intelligence. Some caterpillars Lost to a bird. Some caterpillars have quite potent defenses, like spines and toxins, which make them simply not worth the potential damage to take on. And credit where credit is due, even though they still are fairly defenseless, Very butterflies pretty. and moths do have excellent mobility yeah, but and they're can pretty, fly though. much greater distances than most insect builds. Seriously, what do they look this like? This enables though? them to avoid high conflict areas of the map and reach higher quality loot that might be too rare for most players to rely on. Don't even talk about how Their pretty they are. wings, in addition to being highly customizable for a variety of stealth or intimidation purposes. I hate moths. I don't like any bug that's hairy. This is gross. He has like a, 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 a mane. You know what I mean? And what is this? He's like Rico. Th oh, this is a Hollow Knight guy. I think I fought this dude in Hollow Knight. I beat his ass. I want to be a moth. Why would you want to be a moth when you could be a butterfly? Wouldn't you rather be a butterfly if you had to be anything? Because moths are cooler. Literally, why, ugly ass? <laughs> How do, what do you mean? He's like hairy and he's like, he, I don't like this. I, I'm, a, I'm a butterfly guy. Also just make them look much larger than insects of comparable body sizes. Which helps this way to- You ever see a big ass moth? <laughs> Every summer, there's a giant moth that comes outside my door, and that shit is terrifying. He goes, <sighs> <sighs> I feel the earth shift. Attacks. But ultimately, leopards still take plenty of L's, and most high tier insect builds have quite oppressive matchups against them. So they're definitely a below average faction. But they're That's cool, actually it for D tier, and I know it might seem like we're moving up the tier list quickly, worms, worms, but again, worms, insects worms, are worms, a massively worms, successful worms, faction, worms. and are going to be concentrated in the higher tiers. Boo! At the bottom of C tier, we have the cockroach. The cockroach is the ultimate survivor, which opted to. <laughs> Hold on, I wasn't fast enough on this. The what roach? Back into mobility, stealth. Don't and steal my joke. I was gonna say that. Don't steal my joke. Due of elemental resistances, no, I said in lieu it first. of any offensive abilities. While they don't pack much heat, their flat shape allows them to easily wedge themselves into locations that are extremely difficult for other players to attack them in. They're rather clumsy flyers, but they do have an above average ground movement. Cockroaches can fly. What? I didn't know that. I thought that was a different bug. All of them? Or just like a couple? <laughs> can they all fly? They prefer not to, but they can in emergencies. ...and speed, enabling them to quickly scurry to cover if they see a predator player Okay, that's approach. his ass is not flying. You can't support that. Those wings are too tiny. No, no his ass is not flying. Nope, quickly scurry to <laughs> you call that flying? Cover if they see a predator. Bro, it's Buzz Lightyear. He's just falling with style. However, when caught out in the open or backed into terrible. a corner, they're fairly helpless and easily one of the most vulnerable builds in the entire insect faction. They're also somewhat carried by human mains, making temperate and tundra servers viable for them. Because really, as impressive as amazing among us, stream Coney. mods. <laughs> Get that guy out of here. I'm still sad. Their toxin and radiation resistance abilities are, they're quite vulnerable to the cold and would still be mostly confined to jungle servers Ew. if not for humans unlocking the fire control ability. The biggest variants may be able to tank one or two hits, but even then, with no way to fight back, they're still pretty screwed if they fail to outright escape a fight. Yeah, what do cockroaches do to fight? Ew! 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 <laughs> I hate them! Get out! 
They don't even do anything. They just look gross. Next in C tier, we have the Earwig, a fearsome looking generalist build, which appears to have a giant pair of mandibles on its rear end. But it doesn't. Cersei. As fearsome as these Cersei Shit, forceps don't do are, anything. if we actually check the Earwig's base stats, we quickly notice that, just like all of its other stats, its power stat is actually quite mediocre. Oh, pussy. As menacing as the Cersei are, the actual piercing damage they can deal is fairly minimal, and can even be deflected oh, by the most basic Oh, he's fighting? Oh my god, it's a bad scorpion. <laughs> It's like a shitty scorpion build. Wait a minute. And even against builds without armor, the damage is so low His that larger builds Eat still him. don't really need to be Eat wary him. of approaching an earwig and can attack without restraint. Still, Let's just because they be can blood. doesn't mean they do, as the earwig's intimidation factor alone is oftentimes Ooh. enough to protect it from conflict. Well, pop. And credit where credit is due, the forceps are actually fairly decent in matchups against soft <laughs> insects and allow the earwig to carry stink. their targets much Oh, he's talking shit. <laughs> he grabbed him and now he's like talking to him. Better than they could with their jaws. And while it may Yo, seem what? To Wait carry... a minute. He grabbed him and then he ate him? The earwig to carry their targets much better than they could with their jaws. That's horrifying. Dude. He's just ripping off his arm. He's just holding him with his ass and ripping off his limbs. Jesus Christ. Insects are horrifying. And while it may seem silly to have opted for rear-facing weapons instead of the more typical forward-facing ones like mandibles and rostrums, Love the position Beatles does actually one. serve a purpose there's like a million in of that them. it allows earwigs far greater access to burrows and tight spaces where they Love can hide out and, and avoid spaces. conflict altogether. Of all of the weapons insects have access to, Cersei might be some of the most unorthodox, which probably contributes to its ability to intimidate other players. However, I think to get out of mid-tier, Earwigs need to actually have the ability to back up their threat display. Yeah, he, they would do well to spec into some. They sort can't of fight each other. They would just like do circles. Are a fairly common attribute. <laughs> they for turn insects, into a wheel. So this feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. So while certainly a viable mid tier, don't overestimate this build's ability. It's a mid off. I like these. At the top of C tier, we've got these the Orthopterans, including grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids. These are the first mobility-centric builds on our list. That shit was strong in Bugs Life, though. they're flyers, their true power comes from their saltatorial hind legs rather than their wings. Saltatorial. Flight is an excellent defensive ability, as it allows the user to get out of reach of an attack's range. I was looking for the bug. <laughs> they were saying that, and I was like, wait, where the hell is the bug? I see a bird and a lizard. Where is the bug? <laughs> but this utility is lessened if their ability to get airborne has too much startup lag. And so instead of using their wings to get themselves up into the air, oh, his ass a powerful jumping. jump enables the Orthopteran mains to escape vertically at instant speed. Their excellent vision makes it extremely difficult to get within striking range without <laughs> alerting them. And because their jump has such excellent turn around, it, landing an turn around, on the can turn around, yo, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? How many frames was that? No, <laughs> bro, this is one frame. What the fuck? Oh hell no, grasshopper disappear. <laughs> What the fuck going on in this garden, bro? <laughs> it disappeared. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'd be mad as hell, bro. If I'm this, whatever the hell, is spider? If I'm that dude and I'm like, alright. He's got nothing. I've been creeping on this dude for eight hours. And finally, it's time to eat. And bro just hit the... Yup. <laughs> you can still see his shadow. <laughs> oh my god. At times. And even if that a player does off, manage bro. to secure a grab, their powerful hind legs can function as quite an effective combo break. Oh, he got a donkey the kick. The spines on their legs augments the damage their kicks oh, can deal. Oh shit. Meaning he that got if a grasshopper can tank the first few hits of an ambush attack, they may be able to turn the tide of a confrontation and escape after dealing serious damage to the attacker. I think he's dead. <laughs> Bro's getting his, his belly eaten. I think he's dead. Ew. Well, pop. With that said, I think there are a few flaws in their strategy. Oh, dude, probably number one is probably a fucking grasshopper, by the way. Which I think keeps... Not grasshopper. Damn it. Number one is probably praying mantis, right? 
Number one is probably Praying Mantis and Ants. I think those two. Because Praying Mantis are big dudes. Them out of the upper tiers. Grasshoppers can jump so far that there's really no way of knowing what sort of situation yeah. they're about to put themselves in. In a similar manner to the flying fish, using such a drastic escape option can sometimes end up putting you in a worse position than you were before. Especially if your local meta has a lot of spider players, and although they do present a challenge, most predator players aren't disrupted by the grasshopper's kicks. Who set this up? Why am I watching a bug fight? <laughs> this isn't in nature. Where is this happening? This is just like a really, uh, really high-end Gary's mod. I would pay so much money for that Gary's mod if I could get like a super, like, year 3020 Gary's mod like this and I could finally answer the gorilla bear question. And can either tank the damage outright or one hit the grasshopper before it even has a chance to retaliate. At the bottom of B tier, True we bugs. have the Hemipterans, a diverse order of insects with a few things in common, including generally having high defense and Other ones being somewhat <laughs> shield shaped. However, the most notable thing being oh. high defense and being. These bugs didn't exist until like 2014. Am I crazy? I never saw one of these motherfuckers until like eight years ago. What happened? Am I crazy? <laughs> These things got added late in the game. These are brand new. Invasive species. Get the, get get them out of here, bro. Somewhat shield-shaped. They are invasive. They are new to your region. And I'm sick of them. Everybody says they stink. I've never smelled one. I don't know. And they've never, like, I've never crushed one. Because I'm not a psychopath. Despite what you might think. I've never killed one but however the most notable they stink when killed see there we go who's the real psychopath huh i just ignore them or take them outside thing is that they rather don't even than do slicing anything. or pinching mouth parts the hemiptera build opts for a piercing rostrum perfect for puncturing through tough surfaces for the majority of hemipteran builds this allows them to farm xp from sources that are normally hard that to access cicada? like the energy dense sap inside trees and stems or the starch inside of seeds However, there are some Hemipterans which use their sharp rostrum to deliver a venomous bite oh, that is no, able to pierce rostrum. through armored targets. Their venom is powerful enough to one-shot just about any other insect, and can even deal severe damage to larger builds. Ooh. The only major shortcoming here is that these so-called assassin bugs tend to actually have fairly low stealth, opting for the aposomatic intimidation defense I mentioned earlier. I don't know why I love watching bugs clean their antennas. That shit looks so cool. It's like a samurai cleaning his blade, you know? Even though that's not what they fight with. <laughs> Very edgy. Speaking of samurai, I uh, I watched Kill Bill the other day. Good movie. <laughs> I watched one the other day and then two last night. Good movie. Or not last night. Was it last night? Yes. Good movie. Yeah. Kill Bill's a good movie. And on top of all that, they have fairly low mobility, making actually ambushing two was kind player. of mid. I like two more. You didn't like two more? I like two way more. One felt slow to me. I felt like two was slow at the points where it should have been, you know? Kind of difficult if they're actually paying enough attention to simply dodge the attacks and flee. Some do break this trend, though, and opt for both better camouflage and high aquatic mobility, <laughs> making them some of the most fierce oh, no, I'm upside down. Game. On the herbivore side ability, Bro, break this they're actually what kind of attention bug is to that? dodge the attacks and flee. Some That's a big frog. Do How big is that bug? Ah <laughs> Water bug also known as a toe biter. What? Ew, I've never seen these. Oh my god, they're huge! Ow! Motherfucker! Ew! 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 That shit looked like a matchstick. I'm gonna light it on. <laughs> Rub that shit up against something. Light it up. Bugs are aliens, bro. I hate bugs. And opt for both especially low tier bugs <laughs> and high aquatic mobility, good. making them some of the most fearsome aquatic. Hell no! Let in me the out! On the herbivore side of things, hemipterans tend to fare a bit worse. They usually still have fairly low mobility and low stealth. How are bugs so stupid? 
of things. How bu- <laughs> He's right there. He's right there. Scripturns tend to fare a bit worse. They usually still have fairly low mobility and low stealth. I wouldn't get hit. And their defenses may be higher than the average, but are nowhere near as impenetrable as some of the builds higher on this list. They tend to rely on- How are bugs so stupid? Kony, you thought a gorilla would beat a bear. Bear detected in chat. This place is not a safe space for bears. Mods, I found a bear in the chat. Get rid of them, please. On a chemical defense- Gorilla bros, you're free to stay. Similar to some phasmids, which is where they get the name stink bugs from. <laughs> However, similar to phasmids, these defenses also- Which is- I fucking love this guy. Is where they get the name stink bugs from. How did he do- I, Again, I've never had that happen. I don't even know what they smell like. However, similar to phasmids, these defenses also tend to be a bit lacking and often fail to deter attackers. So certainly a group with some standout member. You aren't intimidating. <laughs> I'm gonna mean mug a stink bug next time I say <laughs> And fine for XP farming, but still nothing too broken. And topping off B tier, we have the Neuroptera. What a rather clumsy build with some pretty pathetic looking base stats. Genuinely one of the least agile that flyers in the suck. entire- Ew, what? He got a cigarette butt. Bro, what? His butt looked like a cinnamon. Ugh. I don't like that dude. Their game. These However, things are cute. looking Shut at up. the final form of this build paints a highly misleading picture of its capabilities. The larval form, which is the form they spend the vast, vast majority of their time as, is a brutally effective predator build for any Ugh. player who prefers the camping playstyle. Taking a look at the larva's stats, we see that they have incredibly high power and stealth for Damn, their Damn, I would stay a larva. The I wouldn't evolve. Have a devastating, venomous bite, which they use to one-shot unsuspecting players My ass is before larval. draining all their life points with their hollow jaws. Because of their ability to construct pitfall traps, their passive stealth rating is extremely high, making their ambush playstyle unbelievably effective. As if escape wasn't Camping hard enough, ass. once the prey gets caught in their trap, no! the it even has the ability to launch projectiles to stun its target. <laughs> I never realized, I never, like, made the the connection that, like, those tiny rocks, that sand, that's, like, rocks to the ant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that shit would hurt. That's like a, that's like a boulder to him. Damn. ...tiles to stun its target, making escape a near impossibility. That poor thing. I have an entire video dedicated to the overpowered abilities of Neuropter and Larvae, but in short, they are what the earwig pretends to be. If you took the earwig Cersei, put them in front, and made them sharper, and gave them deadly venom to boot, you'd have That's an ant lion. Too much. So why the weak adult form? Having spent all their evolution points optimizing their larval form, they spend hardly any time at all as adults. They don't even have the ability to eat in this form, and really only exist to be a vessel that allows players to find each other uh, and complete the mating questline, uh, something they lack the ability to do in their uh, much less mobile larval form. So, while I do think it'd be more impressive if they didn't take such a massive cut to their power level during their- <laughs> I absolutely hate that. I love how explicit you are in that message. Final level up. There's no denying that for the vast majority of their playtime, these builds are an absolute menace to encounter. Only B? A tier, we have a personal oh, favorite of mine. Still only Mantis. A? Mantis I thought that show was higher. Mantis a straightforward playstyle consisting of slashing and grabbing their targets. Pop! using powerful spiked raptorial forelimbs. How come they got, like, light bulb eyes? Where do they see? Like, where is, where is the eyeball here? 360 vision? Oh, I see. They got the red. I see. They can see through the thing. Favorite of mine. Damn, that Mantis. must be nice. Mantises have a fairly straightforward playstyle consisting of slashing everywhere. and grabbing their targets using powerful spiked raptorial forelimbs. How if do you we lose if the you can see stats, everywhere? We see that do bugs sleep? Alexa, do bugs sleep? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, yes, bugs sleep. Did that answer your question? Oh. Yeah, they just said yes. Yes, thank you. They do. That the mantis has. I do all bugs sleep? Do fish sleep? Look at a video of bees when you turn off the lights. <laughs> Why was that a suggested search? 
Doobie Duke Sim. Oh, they're gonna see that in slow. <laughs> Is this a react right, video? Whoa. <laughs> Turn that shit off. And then they all come flying down. Not everybody, though. Not everybody. Some of them. Okay, so it's really the ones. It's really the ones that were not connected to the light. Damn, this guy's astute. It's one of the highest base. Turn off the bees. The bees are done. Turn them off for the day. Or stats of any non-venomous insect. It also has a stealth stat similar to that of a walking stick which it desperately needs in order to be Wait. able to get within striking range of its targets. They can be brown? Its clumsy flight and slow ground I only see green. He can fly? Basically impossible. No, he can't. However, what they lack in movement speed, they easily they make up for They keep adding new speed. shit. The Mantis's strike is lightning quick to the point that it's easily able to hit targets that are normally considered hopelessly evasive. As powerful as these strikes are, one weakness of the strategy is that the grappling attack doesn't immobilize the target. Bro, he hated that. He hated that shit. Oh my god. He did a fucking... He got actually stunned. These strikes are... One weakness of the strategy is that the... Ah! Attack ...doesn't immobilize the target <laughs> and actually brings them with... Oh my god. It's like in a cartoon when you have two, like, trash can lids and you, like, smash them on somebody's head. Oh my god, dude. He got blasted. In range of a counterattack. Fuck, and it didn't even hurt him. his large size enables Actual it to tank shield most counterattacks, attacking a venomous target can end up being a serious blunder for a Mantis player. So definitely a powerful high tier predator, but not one that's so invincible that Mantis mains can get careless. Boo! Next in A tier, we have the fly. Boo! I hate these fucking things. Get out of my house! Motherfucker comes in in September, fat as shit. Get this out! Get a bit confusing due to the amount of other bills that you. That's too many. Fl Kill them. Boo, bro! I went to the beach in like August once, and there were so many horseflies on the beach, and I was so mad. That used the word fly Those in their name. Those motherfuckers be biting. But this group, the true flies, are defined by a very specific feature. Boo. True flies only have two wings. This might seem like a major trade-off. But while it does leave them more vulnerable to having their they fight ability mobility, disabled though. from taking damage, the perk they unlock in return is more than worth the risk. Instead of a second pair of wings, flies swap them out for Haltiers, a sensory structure what? that grants flies an insanely powerful buff to their aerial maneuverability and their evasion. Their superior aerobatics make them all but impossible to land a hit on midair, and also enables predator fly variants such as the robber fly to launch incredibly precise attacks mid-flight and take down targets that would normally be too powerful to confront head on. I don't, I don't, none of this is going to win me. I don't fucking like flies. But are unable care. to effectively counterattack during flight. I don't like flies. Flight. You're not going to win me over. However, most flies are either scavengers or parasites, using their quick mobility and superior reaction speed gonna eat to his weave eye? past what the defenses and avoid the sweeping counterattacks of larger players. While they do have an extremely short lifespan, there's... Oh, that no flamingo's on something. He's just... <laughs> This flamingo's, like, messed up, bro. He's just... Players. Huh? While they do have an extremely short lifespan, there's flamingo, no denying that they good? make the most of the time he they do as hell. and are one of the most huh? efficient and evasive builds in the entire game. But while flies are excellent aerial combatants, they're no match for the ultimate aerial hunter build. The dragonfly is similar to the crocodile in that it is one of the most well-optimized hmm. PvP builds that has ever existed in the game. It's already such an efficient build that across several balance patches. Why do you guys like dragonflies? The fuck? Dragonflies are sick. I hate them. Don't like them. Because they like fly slightly above the water. I don't know. And game expansions. It's a Pokemon. Oh, that's why you like them. You fucking geeks. Dragonfly has seen very few changes to its core strategy. Just like in my video they game. They simply aren't necessary. As the dragonfly is already equipped to deal with just about anything the devs throw at it. So what is it about the dragonfly that has given it such a competitive edge? Dragonflies have the best aerial maneuverability of any build in the game, and the highest top flight speed of any insect. I just think nobody's trying to hurt him. That duck is not going to eat him. <laughs> Do ducks eat dragonflies? I feel like they're chilling. They Unlike most care. insects, dragonflies have specced into the ability to move their wings independently of each other, which grants them the Why ability is he annoying to move them? in any direction Actually, what is he doing? Face that this dude's pissing Meaning me off. Eat him. Eat him. Get him. And even fly backwards. 
This ability makes Why the flight is he doing more that? energetically demanding than it is for other insects. So this is a high commitment, high reward playstyle. In order to ensure a proper payoff for their incredible agility, dragonflies have also specced into what is arguably the best vision of any arthropod. Extremely large, high-resolution eyes that take up basically their entire head, granting them full 360-degree vision. Damn. This allows them to track all potential targets around them with ease, and allows them to see attack- That shit 240p. I bet he, his ass doesn't actually see anything. I, he got 360, but I bet it sounds terrible. Hey, Connie, I'm late, but I heard you had a great Among Us stream, Shut and I up. really wish I could have seen I have it. to return my, my VR headset. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm so sad. I wanted so badly to play Among Us. I was so excited, you guys. Coming. Especially with, like, that group. You know what I mean? Because, like, it wouldn't have been, like... It would have been mad fun. I'm so sad. Mods! <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Long before they're actually at risk of getting hit. Unlike many of the other builds on this list, which either... What headset did you get? Uh, Quest? I think? Yeah, I got the Quest, and I tried to hook it up to the PC, and then shit just kept breaking. The cheap one? It was like $400! I'm returning that shit. ...have a powerful larval form, but a weak adult form, <laughs> or a powerful adult form that can only achieve this after enduring an extremely vulnerable early game. The Dragonfly is a high-tier predator in both forms. While everyone knows they dominate the skies when they reach their max level, what you might not know is that as nymphs, Dragonflies are one of the most vicious aquatic builds in the game able to one-shot similarly sized fish and amphibian players. Cool, man. You kill the tadpole. That's not... That's not great. Like, he just... It's it's a fucking pre-frog. It's a baby frog. He killed a baby. Similarly sized fish and amphibian Spawn players. kill, yeah. Now, while it's, it's tempting impressive. to put dragonflies in S tier, they do have a few shortcomings. While they are generally able to see approaching Damn. predators- that sucks. <laughs> this dude is fucked up. Oh, man. That sucks. Like, he's, like, spread out. It's not even just one wing. It's Before it's too late, that's they are particularly good at avoiding accidentally flying Jeez. into dangerous situations. They're easily trapped by spiderwebs and are often- Dragonflies have a 97% success rate when hunting. According to who? Where are you getting these fucking stats? Who's tracking this? <laughs> Is it an ESPN for, for, for dragonflies? Snatched out of the air when flying too close to another player. In addition, dragonflies cannot walk, meaning that their energy expensive flight ability is their only option if they need to reposition themselves. Not that devastating of a weakness, but it's enough that this ancient build can't quite break into S tier. Ants? Bees? Are bees insects? Mosquitoes. Oh, hey, but I'm turning off the video if it's mosquitoes. Hell yeah, that's my third. I fucking love beetles. First in S tier, we have the beetle. The beetle is the epitome of the insect build. That shit a bunch crazy. of extraordinarily powerful abilities that seem like they shouldn't really His function properly walking. when used in conjunction with each the other. King. Yet somehow actually end up synergizing unbelievably well. Beetles are the premier tanks of the insect faction. Beetles are cool. With as an hell. outer cuticle sturdy enough to deflect just about any attack with ease. It has such a high AC that it can confidently plow through a swarm of aggressive ants without <laughs> taking any damage. Something that even many reptiles and amphibians can't His get away look with. like a raisin. Now, typically, when a build is heavily invested into defenses like this, Eat em, bro. it has to make a lot of Eat sacrifices it. in its other stats. This is the opposite of what we see in the beetle build, as in addition to being the most heavily armored insect in the game, it also excels in several other metrics. What are June bugs? I don't even know what they are. Is that like another word for something? Are they like a? Are they like a? They're beetles. Okay. <laughs> the most obvious of All which right. is its power stat. I don't think I've ever seen beetles one. can obliterate their enemies in combat using powerful jaws and explosive chemical weapons. Chemical weapons. To bulldoze opponents with their forward-facing weaponry is Bro, got hard mustard to gas. But in my opinion, their real damage That's potential comes from beetles which tail. possess the ability to blast their attackers with a toxic or acidic chemical burst. Bro, what the fuck? He can do that? I, I didn't know they had that. Bro is spraying. But that I'd be mad as hell.
for state. But in my opinion, <laughs> when they start curling up like this, you gotta run, bro. They're real they start damage. Curling up, <laughs> he's spraying himself too. That's how he knows he wants you to die. <laughs> comes from beetles which possess the ability to oh, he blast their old. attackers that's what with that is. toxic or acidic chemical ah! force. But that's not where the <laughs> craziness Queen, save stops, me! because although you'd probably expect a high power tank to be a slow lumbering build, oh, no, he beetles moves. also possess the top terrestrial movement speed of any insect. And if that weren't enough, despite often having heavy horns or giant mandibles, yep. packing a tank full of noxious chemicals, being clad in heavy armor I'm a beetle, and strapped bro. with enough muscle to move on. I'm not that beetle, though. I'm not this beetle. I don't like that guy. I'm not this beetle. I'm a different beetle. That's not me. <laughs> That's not me. That's not what I do. I know. No, chat. That's not me. I am a noble, strong, big beetle with a rhino horn. That's my fursona. I'm not this motherfucker. He's too agile. I'm not agile. He's like uh, he's like doing a handstand and kicking with his back legs. That's not me. Objects far far above That's not their me. weight class. The beetle is still able to fly without much issue. Now they did sacrifice one of their sets of wings for additional armor, so they can't perform the advanced aerobatics that dragonflies and houseflies can. Who cares? But the ability bro? to get from point Fuck A to point B fly. via flight is still. <laughs> Somebody's just gonna be. Why does Connie hate dragonflies? Extremely valuable, both for escaping danger and for reaching valuable points of interest. In short, beetles have essentially every ability they could ask for. They are an amalgamation of everything that makes the insect faction so powerful. And so it's no surprise that beetle species comprise a whopping 25% of all species in the game. They're so versatile and adaptable that a beetle player can find a niche in essentially any server. They truly are the ultimate insect and deserve a tier list of their own. As incredible as this combination of powerful abilities is, ultimately the beetle is still lacking the most powerful insect Oh my goodness, thank you, Wizzy. Big ups, thanks for the raid. Hey, everybody, we're looking at bugs. There are two top-tier bugs. What do you think they are? Ants? Probably ants and bees, right? Probably just ants and bees. The ability of them all. You sociality. Now, I have an entire video dedicated to explaining just how broken this ability is. Thank you, and Wizzy. And there's no Big question up. that the, the insects that incorporate it into their game plan simply Ants dominate. and worms. Worms aren't good, bro. You stop worm posting. Worms are cringe. What about spiders? Spiders aren't bugs, dummy. Spiders aren't bugs, you stupid chatter. Everybody knows that. Dummy. Spiders aren't bugs. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> If that guy came in late, he's probably like, wow, Coney's an asshole. I said that earlier. That's why I'm doing this bit. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I can't be mean to a chatter for no reason. I feel bad. I said that earlier. I thought spiders would be number one, and then chat was mean to me. So now I have to be mean to you. It's like it's like a prison system, you know? I got I to gotta look strong. Oh, by the way, I haven't said this all night. Give me a prime. Drop the prime right now. Free way to sub to the stream. Great way to support. Give me that fucking prime. Subscribe, please. <laughs> I got decayed really hard. Please. Please. I'll do anything. Please. <laughs> I'm not streaming Sunday. It's going to be real bad. <laughs> Please. All in their path. What? This what eating motherfucker? This guy? He got a big head. <laughs> Look how big his head is, bro. Wood meta? <laughs> this dude loves wood. The other guy loved poop. This guy loves wood. Now, technically, termites are a variant of the cockroach build, but they? they have such a unique and powerful playstyle that lumping them in with mid-tier cockroaches seems disingenuous. The termite thank you, yes, queen thank is you, the longest thank you, lived insect okay, thank in the you game, for... with a lifespan near that of a human or elephant. Oh, that's gross. And Thanks, it spends Smokey. these many decades building one of the most powerful armies the game has ever seen. These termite armies are able to construct some of the most- Tirzu is just a termite in a meat suit. I think Tirzu is like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. He's just full of termites. If he ever gets a 10 out of 10 on one of his videos, he just- Oh! And he just breaks apart. Well-fortified bases in the game, giving even just beaver dams termites, and human bro. skyscrapers a run for their money. Not only do they build incredible bases. Termite is the guy from Men in Black. What, the guy that wants sugar water? <laughs> Termites literally transform the map in order to better optimize their colony's ability to gather resources. They will pave paths and build ramps and bridges to important resource deposits. 
This efficiency allows them to support a huge army and command vast territories. Termites, like despite ants, being though. most closely related to cockroaches, have a combat style that is actually most similar to the spitting cobra, which, if you've seen my snake tier list, you'd know is also a top tier build. Termites can accurately fire acid from a needle-like horn on their face, <laughs> dealing heavy damage to anything caught in its blast. Ow! Some termites opt for giant slices. <laughs> I love the ant doesn't, like, get off the branch. The ant's just like, ow, motherfucker, ow, I'm, I'm gone now. <laughs> The termite doesn't know he's there anymore. Ow, you son. He's like changing lanes on the highway. Fuck. Ow. For giant slicing jaws instead of acid sprayers on their head and are crucial for defending their face from an onslaught of invaders. Termites are a somewhat imbalanced build with crazy powerful forward face. Look how big his head is. Look at his head. Dude. It's you. No, it's not! I'm a beetle! Facing weaponry, but extremely vulnerable abdomens with no armor at all. This Looks like my dick. I certainly hope not. <laughs> this is... I hope not. That that seems... Ta what? One, why did I read that? Two, the image is disastrous. The image that popped into my head is truly nightmarish. <laughs> the head is just, it's... This yeah, editor, take that out. I didn't respond to that in, in YouTube world. Means that Body positivity? <laughs> All shapes and sizes, welcomed here on the stream. Oftentimes, despite a larger size, they are quickly overwhelmed. He got they a get big head, dude! Flight. I can't take my Not eyes usually off. Usually, an it. issue as termites are proficient at defending in a phalanx formation, which covers the weak points of individual members. Just so send the certainly ants, not Show a bad enough ants. weakness to negate the top two Show status me, of the ants. sociality. Answer but this weakness one. does mean that I gotta give the top spot to the other you social insect send faction. The ants. Yo, oh, that's cheating! What the fuck, <laughs> bro? You can't do this. Huh? Bro, this is cheating! Bro said... Damn it, that's not the real one. Fuck, where's the real one? Every bug! Every single bug! Every other bug that exists! Ants, bees, and wasps are number one. Kazia... Aegis and Steve, all one character. S tier. You cheating ass. <laughs> Sorry for the Smash reference, everybody. It's just all I know. Hymenoptera is the group of insects that includes ants, bees, and wasps. Speaking of which, I was gonna do a Smash tier, uh, uh, Hunger Games. I'll probably do that next week, cause we we're gonna run low on content. And November and December is a great month for CPM, so I might pop that next week. Wow, people are excited. Oh my god. <laughs> I've failed as a content creator. Look at all the pogs. We'll probably do it next week. CPM, uh, uh, cost per mil, I think. I think that's what it is. Basically how much money YouTube gets for every 1,000. So November and December are crazy high. So I'll probably, if I'm gonna do a Smash video, along with not having time and that, it's probably gonna happen next week, so... Unlike termites, these insects are a bit more well-rounded. Hunger well -rounded, games are fun, though. They, they're pretty fun. All over. <laughs> they're just cheap both fun, forward you know? and rear-facing weaponry, with most hymenopterans packing strong jaws and a venomous stinger. The wasp's signature buzz and yellow banding are so infamous that almost every other insect faction in the game has at least a few members trying to replicate it to gain advantage on their own intimidation checks. <laughs> you social hymenopterans can build extremely complicated Who is his structures editor? with I love his editor. tools. They can launch organized attacks containing thousands of combatants. They can capture prison. I guess he added that sound effect. Without the sound effect, it wouldn't have been like that. <laughs> that shit was harrowing with the sound. This is like... <laughs> This this kind of this setup is how I imagine low tier gods covenant rants to be, like a bunch of his dudes just holding you down and then they, they don't snap your neck, <laughs> they do some other stuff but you know, <laughs> all of his dudes holding you down, 
And you know, he's going to do some other thing. They, <laughs> Low tier God's Covenant is a youth social species. <laughs> They're youth social. They, they <laughs> they're all drones, and they all communicate to the king. <laughs> Teamwork. Uh. <laughs> oh my God! Ropes, ropes. They can capture prisoners, cross major barriers, and control territory. Bro, they can capture prisoners. Cross. Imagine being a bottom ant, bro. Cringe. Guess I'll drown. Go on without me. Major barriers and control territory to I'd be an a absolutely top incredible degree. <laughs> Thousands of players will lay down their lives in defense of a colony if need be. Ants in particular are masters of both empire building and military tactics, often having to wage war tactics? on multiple fronts while undertaking large construction and agricultural projects in their own territory. Real question, real question, and I swear to God I, this is genuine. None of you guys would fucking know this. Why am I asking this? Um, we know that a lot of invention uh, takes inspiration from, you know, animals and, 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 and bugs and things like that. We, we see what they do, and we kind of adopt it to technology. For, like, war strategy and, and general shit, have we ever looked at ants and be like, yo, we should do that? Do we, like, get tactics from ants? You guys don't know. Everybody that said no doesn't know, and everybody that said yes is lying. I don't... YouTube, comment below. <laughs> do, do, do we learn things from ants? What do you think? Comment below. Like, please. You guys so, don't know shit. So, while beetles may take YouTube up a larger percentage me. of total insect variants, termites and ants both vastly outnumber ants. Smithsonian. When it comes to waging wars, ants and humans have a lot in common. Yeah, but we don't know if they learned from us. Any other insect build. Which and one while I don't first, base my I'm tier saying. lists purely off of population, there's no denying that the abundance of these insects is due to their incredibly powerful strategies and their ability to bend their environment to their advantage. In fact, the only genuine threats to you social players tend to be invaders disguising themselves as members of their own colony but are really there to disrupt, steal, and Damn. attack. Many spider, hemiptera, there, and mantis mains adopt- There are really James Bond spiders? To be I didn't know that. Bro is snuck in. Look at that. Invaders disguising themselves as members of their own colony. Bro was but are really there to it. disrupt, steal, and attack. Many spider, hemiptera, and mantis mains adopt the strategy and are incredibly successful in doing so. As the ant- Hey, that's not a fa Is that a fucking chew dat emote? Oh, no, it's void. <laughs> I thought that was chew. I was like, did you just use a fucking chew dat emote to dunk on me? That hurts the most. That I got yay used. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, huh? Troops forage and browse Boys, unknown whatever. territory. The parasites weave their way into their ranks. Something similar happens when you browse the internet without using NordVPN, the sponsor of today's video. As you browse, trackers lap onto your system. He just dropped that shit. <laughs> well done. Well done, Tier Zoo. Damn, he just slammed that shit at the very end. That's nice. Big fan. Okay, well, you know, I guess, I guess. I guess if, if ants, bees, and wasps are on the same team, you know, he talked mostly about ants. <laughs> uh, I, I, this is supposed to be all three, but he's clearly favoring one. He didn't even talk about mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are flies? Yeah, but, like, mosquitoes are special flies. They're, like, extra strong. What's your favorite bug? Comment below. And also, hey, hey, really quick, you got to subscribe to Tears, bro. He's the best. He's the best. You got to do it. You got to do it. D click off this video. Drop a like. Subscribe. And go subscribe to Tears, That's my fucking boy. I love Tears, and you should too. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't care if you subscribe. I'm already on 100K. Hmm. You have no power over me. Sorry. I'll see you at 200K in like five years. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Bye. Oh, don't ask about why the lighting is weird. I, I, I unplugged the cable, and I think it got kind of screwy. Sorry. <laughs>
Oh no, they can unsubscribe. I forgot you could do that. I I literally forgot that was an option. <laughs> I thought once you get them, they're hooked forever. Like Gold's Gym or Planet Fitness, you know? They just... It's too inconvenient. To get off. It looks better like this? You think so? I Well, I mean, I have the light on in the back. That might be part of it, but... Good movie. Not bad. All right. Uh, I got one more thing I got to do. Hold on. Wait one second. Is Toad's neck okay? <laughs> uh, he's fine. It's just, he He's fine. He likes laying like that. He's very comfy. Uh, hold on. One second. Yeah, I'll play a little music for you. You guys! You guys! Everybody! Thank you, All Without Eyes. Thank you. You guys, it is my sponsor obligation to tell you about the Arcadian delivered by Beyond the Summit and Papa John's. You guys missed the first three qualifiers, dummies. You missed so much already, but Lord help you, you got one more chance. That's at main stage, the last chance qualifier, where you can get into the Arcadian. Now, what's an Arcadian? Thank God you asked. Basically, it's a way of having a tournament where no ranked players can enter. So if you're ranked, get the hell out. If you're unranked, it's a great way to play because you play with people of your own skill. It's amazing. And now, main stage is the last chance qualifier, everybody. So you got to do it soon. It's important. There's a 50k prize pool that's still up for grabs. And you can register at bts.gg slash Arcadian or register for main stage at beyondthesummit.tv slash main stage. It's probably on start.gg. Also, if you're already registered, you can do this for free. Why wouldn't you? You're probably going to lose anyway. You might as well enter a free tournament for a chance of that sweet, sweet 50k. Thank you to the Arcadian delivered by Beyond the Summit and Papa John's. Top 16 is happening at main stage. Let me get out of my way. My big ass blocking the copy. Top 16 at main stage with the top four stream live and win a paid VIP trip to Summit. Wow. Amazing! Why did I say it like that? Check out the Arcadian, the Arcadian.gg. And I'm being paid to say this, and I have to tell you that. Amazing! Oh, that's for Smash Ultimate, by the way. <laughs> I probably should have made that clear. You know, I never realized just how easy it is to get free shit from companies. Like, this Arby's thing? I could ask for a lot of free stuff. You know? You now have 100k subs? Yeah, but that's on YouTube. I don't even have 100k on Twitch yet, bro. Look at this. Or on Twitter. Not even close. <sighs> that feel with no clout. At least I have this. Notable in government, news, entertainment, or another designated category. Eat shit. <laughs> They're going to take it one day, and I'm not buying it back unless I need to. If I need to, then I'll do it. Am I going to lose it? Is that what they're doing? Are they taking it away? You're funnier without it. Dude, people, like, will try to dunk on it. People will, like, point out the, the fucking check mark, and I'm like... There's one guy that did it the other day, and I really wanted to bully him. <laughs> I'm not, I can't talk about it on stream, because people will bully him. It was... Do it? I want to so bad. I can't. I'm an adult. They had that they were 18 in the bio. I can't. That feels bad. That kid is 16 years younger than me. But I also feel like they need to learn somehow. <laughs> Somebody needs to be mean. 
They ran a Thomas the Tank Engine YouTube channel where they talked about their favorite Thomas the Tank Engine train. And I wanted to be like... <laughs> you know, I... I, I want to... I, uh... React? <laughs> Coney, do you still hate bears? That's a fun way to... Uh, that's a fun way to, to bully them. I, I react to their video and I give them none of the payout. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Bears are so cute, but they would not beat a gorilla. What's bearing? No, we don't like bears. Tony, we should watch the Spongebob death battle. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Who did he fight? I'm not gonna watch it. Did you see this? Hold on. Dude, yeah, I did. Hold on. So, Mario flips off the world, right? Mario does this in his Nintendo of America. I don't know why Mario would do that, but, you know, it's fake, right? This isn't real. But under, but somebody else said, this is genius because, you know, Twitter keeps the $8 and they don't get the money back. And uh, it, it's a great way to, to de-incentivize trolling or whatever. And Elon tweeted back like, yes, that's the plan, everybody. Hold on. Maybe he deleted it. I don't know if it's here. He tweets so fucking much. 20 hours? Yeah, this one. Okay. New ver Twitter verification system, people doing that. Beauty is each account gets verified, pays $8. Twitter keeps the money. It's genius. Bullseye. This is not sustainable. I would pay $8 to shit post. And ruin a company's brand image? I guess in the long term, the idea is, you know, people will realize that it's not the brand, right? People will be like, oh, that's not the brand, that's just a guy. Okay, then nothing ever happens on Twitter anymore! <laughs> because anybody could just lie! I don't understand. Maybe I'm too short-sighted, genuinely. Maybe I'm, I'm too dumb. To me, this feels like Elon is willing to be the fall guy for an unsustainable platform. Like, he bought Twitter, and he's going to be the fall guy for this dying, and that makes him look good to other companies, because he's willing to be the bad guy. If they want to bring him in. He doesn't care about his image or whatever. That's the most charitable, highest IQ, 5D chess interpretation I can make. That's the highest level I could do. This is fucking insane. This, this app has so many millions of viewers. You think people won't spend $8 to, to do this? <laughs> he 100% cares about his image. I, I get It's weird. He wants to be liked so bad, dude. At least it, it appears that way. Like, just go be a billionaire. Why do you? Why do I have to think you're cool? Why do I have to like you? I don't want to like you. I would like you if you talked less. Stupid. Dumb. Okay. I gotta record something for Panda. And it's not Smash. I gotta do this before I leave. I don't know if this is gonna be good or not. I think it's short. Oh yeah, this is short. This is fine. Okay. This is a short thing. It's about Street Fighter. I haven't seen any of this, so this is all new to me. It's about Street Fighter Six. Okay. Uh, let me see what they want. Game Informer, see what the Street Fighter devs have been cooking up, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
All right, be nice, because we're going to be on Panda, okay? Why are you bat chesting? <laughs> we like Street Fighter. Come on, be nice. All right. Don't bat chest. I'm about to record an intro. Be nice. Hello, Panda YouTube. Welcome to today's video. You guys like Street Fighter? Is this going on Street Fighter or Smash? Oh, this is probably going on, on Street Fighter. All right, never mind. Hey, guys, welcome to the Street Fighter channel. <laughs> I can chill out a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to be Smash Man yelling and excited and bat chesting. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, FGC guy just depressed. Okay. I guess it's on the fighting game channel. I'll do both. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Panda Fighting Game channel. I'm from the Smash channel. Good seeing you here. I promise I won't stay long. I'm here to watch some Street Fighter VI stuff. Turns out we got some new footage from Game Informer checking in on the devs of Street Fighter VI and seeing what's happening over there. And thank God they're catering to me, it seems, with some of these changes. And I, I gotta say, finally, right? You know, it's been a long time coming. These Street Fighter fans have had it too good for too long. That's why we're gonna watch a little bit of this Street Fighter VI. Apparently they got some new game systems and... Uh, different controls and such in here. Let's take a look at what they've been cooking up. As Capcom readies the next mainline... In Bro, hold on. Really quick, I'm so sad. Failboat ju just said, for real, that was so much fucking fun. I'm so sad. <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the chat. They had so much fun. They had so much fun. Depressed. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. They had so much fun. I will never have fun. <laughs> oh man. Keep the headset get in there next time. I I don't I feel like an Among Us VR is this is the one time it's going to happen, you know? Can we get 15 gifted to make us happy again? You know what make me happy? 2,700 subs. If we could just hit 2,700, my mood would skyrocket to the fucking moon. Unfortunately, we're not quite there, but we're very close. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Only, only 230 more to go. <laughs> all right, but I haven't said this at all. Come on, drop a prime at least. Surely, those are free. <laughs> Wait, Kraken, I think that's how you say it, said, I want to play more, to be honest, way more fun than I expected. Well? Maybe I hold on to it. We'll see. I might hold on to it. The problem is I'm gone a lot of next week, so tough. All right, I'll get it figured out. All right, sorry, Panda Editor, my bad. All right, let's watch Street Fighter VI. Do my job! Woo! Entry of its beloved fighting franchise, it's taking the fight to a new arena. I didn't know Guile was the in the cover background. His Game ass Informer. is watching. The cover art, created by designer Goro Tokuda, features one of the original world warriors, Ken, sporting his new look. Everyone, Capcom included, has seen your memes about Ken's rougher appearance in this game, but we traveled to the studio in Osaka, Japan to learn more about what's happening with one of the franchise's most iconic characters. I was kind of sad that they didn't... Apparently, it's not true that he's, like, depressed and divorced and shit. I thought that would have been a cool turn for the character. I thought that would have been cool, honestly. Like, he has something to fight for now, right? Like, to prove himself. He's not, no, apparently he's, like, he's running away from some, like, somebody's after him, and he, like, left his family to, like, keep them safe or something. Depressed divorce is cool? Literally, yes! Yes! It changes the dynamic of the character. He's got to prove it to himself and the world that he's still got it. I think that's neat. You don't think so? You just want him to be the same forever. You don't want any change or development. Come on, man. Who would leave him? His wife! <laughs> or maybe he left. You don't know. People break up sometimes. It's normal. While there, we went hands-on with the game, had extensive conversations. Bro, what is he playing on? Iconic characters. While there, we went... Bro is on the mag cat. He has a turbo button in the Capcom office? Bro, get him out of there. This guy snuck in. That's not a dev. Hands this guy's in ultra bronze. <laughs> on with the game, had extensive conversation. He plays turbo button and he only plays uh, Blanca. No, damn it. I missed the joke. Street Fighter, they're going to laugh at me. He plays turbo button and he only plays E Honda and he just mashes the fist. Is that it? I think that's it, right? Isn't that the input? 
That's the input. It's just a bunch of punches. Am I wrong? <laughs> That's what it used to be. All right? Editor, please make me look good. Cut around the fat here. With the developers, chatted Two about jokes probably fumbled. Doesn't Chun Li have that? She kicks a lot. The lessons the editor helped me out here. Five's disappointing launch, and even learned about. I hope the play, <laughs> the fighting game, uh, Panda you, uh, YouTube editor probably fucking hates me. He's like, fuck this guy. I'll make him look like a shithead. New way to play Street Fighter Six. <laughs> we also traveled to a Bro! launch, and even. Hold on. Look at this new way to play Street Fighter Six. Even learned about a new way to play Street Fighter Six. We also traveled. Uh oh. <laughs> Five's disappointing launch. Uh, learned about a new <laughs> what is this? New way to play Street Fighter Six. That's a we new way to play. Bro is tapping one button. Perfect game for you. Honestly, I'm I'm a pretty godlike masher. I might go crazy on that. So travel to a local I actually might go crazy. Director That's true. Nakayama and producer Shuhei Matsumoto so they could duke it out on Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 4, and Street Fighter 5 arcade cabinets. Of course, the video content doesn't stop there. We've got our usual rapid fire interview featuring Brian Shea interviewing Nakayama-san and Matsumoto-san about Street Fighter 6, their history with the series, and a lot more. Lastly, Neat. lead composer Yoshia Teriyama breaks down the instrumentation and composition of Kimberly's character theme. If you're new around here cool. and all of this sounds exciting, be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss one of our upcoming videos. And for all things Street Fighter 6, head over to GameInformer.com slash Street Fighter 6. Oh, I was supposed to like react to the art and stuff? Uh, I mean, I reacted to the gameplay. I mean, it looks good. I don't know. It's pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. I gave you enough. <laughs> That's enough to react to. Bro did not react. I reacted to the gameplay. I don't know what to say about the art. Looks good, I guess, you know? Cool, man. Awesome. React harder. <laughs> it's going to be my note for this video. Yeah, cool. Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess. I'm excited for Street Fighter Six, Genuinely. Because I... I don't know. I feel bad for the Street Fighter fans because they keep making it more and more accessible to the point where 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 Lupe Fiasco can beat Daigo. <laughs> but, you know, maybe one day I want to beat Daigo. You know, keep making it easier. I beat the shit out of Daigo. I beat his ass. Beast who? <laughs> How hard could it be, you know? He think he Daigo. I'll be Daigo, bro. Bro, put this mode in my game. I'll be Daigo. Wait. <laughs> this is me versus Daigo. I beat his at Hold on, wait. This is not me. <laughs> All right, this is me versus Daigo, There's right? Not a new way to play Street Fighter 6. But actually, this is what it would really look like. Learned about a new way to play Street Fighter 6. We also <laughs> He's not even matching that fast still. <laughs> My ass <is> be <laughs> I'd be moving, dude. I beat Daigo's ass. I read his book and everything. I know all his secrets. All right, well, that's one movie, but there's another one. Exclusive first look at the dynamic control type. I hope that's not the one button. That joint's not dynamic. That joint's static. By definition. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. Let me get out of the way. Wait till you see what he said. It's haunting. Good. <laughs> それって対戦ゲームに反映されるとその場でこう空振りをする相手に攻撃が当たらなくて空振りをするっていうシーンがすごく多かったので攻撃したいってことを意思で表示をしたら相手に。He just said, if you mash the buttons, sometimes the moves might miss, and that sucks. Dude, this game is going to be different. Mashers win. <laughs> Finally, the war is over, and the Mashers have won. We knew that we would one day. Finally. This game is just going to be who can hit the buttons faster. 
Every game is like that Mario Party mini game with the hammer and the thwomps. Damn, there's a one button projectile now. Oh, his ass is mind reading. Capcom think they slick. He dabbing. <laughs> Can't be used in online matches. Oh, versus mode. That means, okay, this, is this even a conversation? That shit's going to be turned off, right? That's it, like, if it's not online, it's just, it doesn't, it's not real. Okay. It's like aim assist. Yeah. What is that sound? <laughs> is it his mic on his lapel? <laughs> I thought somebody was like in my ear. What the fuck? Huh? I guess that's a nice way to put it. Dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> Dynamic. Sure. I mean, I guess it's more. Maybe, maybe the aim here is like. You cultivate an audience of young people who will one day play normal controls, you know? Like, their aim isn't to get a high player base in Street Fighter 6. It's Street Fighter 8 or 9, you know? You're going to get some young fans here that just mash and feel cool. Everyone's getting fired up and we're just ready to get started. As it once was beautifully said... Oh, I forgot about the commentary bit. Oh no, he's mashing one button. Bro's hitting X. Wait, which one is he? Oh, now he's hitting square. I don't... I don't know which one he is. He's Luke? Okay. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Is this supposed to, like, make you want to play the game? Uh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's. I mean, I, I guess the idea here is it's like giving giving your little brother the controller and then he actually gets to play. But, like, is that fun for you at that point? Maybe. I guess the idea is it's still fun because you have to, like, bob and weave and dodge. But that's just exploiting the computer. I feel like this is just going to be, like, in, in, in Smash where... If there's like a level nine computer, you don't fight the computer, you fight the computer's like weird habits where it always air dodges if you start a move. So you do a really meaty move that hits after the air dodge. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like people are going to learn how to beat this AI and then it just becomes like, is it fun? Like, I don't know. <laughs> if it, and like, the idea is. If, if it's two kids fighting, right, and it's just cool, okay, but they could do that anyway. Two kids could just mash anyway. They don't care if it looks cool. They think it looks cool with the, what they're doing, you know? If they're jumping. But maybe this looks cooler, you know? Like a movie. Damn. Tasty Steve being a shitty caster. He just cuts off uh, Chen. Listen to this. Bro, can you, like, give him a chance? Stop stepping on him. Now, can they the job? Two is in a 
<laughs> you actually don't know walling? <laughs> Bro didn't hit any buttons. Dude, I wonder if the casting bit, like the commentators in the game, are going to make people hate these casters. Because they're going to say a lot of the same shit. <laughs> they're going to be like, I'm so sick of that. I hear it all day, every day. It's not special anymore. I hate the casters from FIFA now. <laughs> Is that what it's like? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's cool. I, I think it might be a little bit too far into the, uh, into the accessibility scale, but not accessibility in terms of, like, actually playing the game, but in terms of, like, you know. It's so people can play the campaign. If this was... Okay. I could see this being like a push for like accessibility in general, right? Which is like a big thing right now in games where it's like easier to play if you're, you know, you're... If you don't have full function of your hands or something or whatever. Like... And that sort of trumps any other argument of the soul of fighting games or whatever the fuck, you know? The blind community loves Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat. Not because of accessibility or anything. I love dial -a combos <laughs> I know they're scrubby, but I fucking love hitting a sequence of buttons and they just happen. I don't have to time anything, you know? I like that. I understand why people don't like it, but I do. I assume the thought is it cultivates interest and then they get the urge to learn how to do it for real. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ultimately, it's it's small potatoes, but I I do wonder how far this goes, right? Like maybe this is just the stop of it, and it's just a cool mode. But I agree that accessibility is important, but I don't know if this is the way to go about it. L like let me be clear, I think this is really cool, and I think it's worth doing, and I think it's great. I just like. People in the fighting game community have been gatekeeping the community forever, which is like, you know, at, at what point does trying to cater to a wider audience start infringing on what makes fighting games cool? And as a non-fighting game player myself, I don't want to make that call. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get what they're saying. Are a lot of them just gatekeeping babies? Maybe, probably. But also, I think there's something to that thought, you know? It's probably similar to the whole L canceling conversation that happens now, you know? It's weird to me when I look at Street Fighter backgrounds, it's like, oh, that's Blanca, and that's. Blanca's wife. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why are some of the characters famous and some of the characters not? Make them all characters. Commentators being like, Mother Teresa. That's not Mother Teresa. So smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's his mom. He has no idea about dynamic controls. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> all right, that's kind of funny. Him saying it's smart. That's pretty good. It's like a sport. You don't dumb down a sport and change the rules so somebody who is disabled can play. We don't do it with traditional sports. Why are we doing saying we must do it with esports? Well, we're not. Because the whole point is that this isn't in the esports. Like, you can't turn on dynamic mode in actual competition. So it's not really the same comparison. It's just straight up for... What if they do, though? I, I, I mean, I guess that's the conversation, right? Is like, what if they do turn that on? Um, I, that's its own issue. Depends on the game, you know? Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey. 
MLB right. doesn't use T-ball rules. No use fighting over this for esports. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I, I, I wouldn't even think this is worth a conversation if not for the greater conversation at large about fighting game shit, you know? <laughs> we go Evo with this mode. Mm. <laughs> That's all local. Clap! <laughs> Shouldn't have told us that at the Bro, same time. We just broke away. I'd be mad as hell if dynamic mode told me I lost. We're both mashing and your computer was right? I'd be mad as hell. Bro, we're using the same computer. Why did you get the good one? Come on. <laughs> It's annoying as hell. We never should have allowed tap jump off. Actually, that's a good point, too. I only play with tap jump off. Would I play Smash seriously if I if I had to tap jump? I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Waited for you to end your parry. Okay. Are parries like you hold it like that? Is it like uh, what's it called? Like Joker the counter, Rebels Guard or whatever, where it has to go off at a certain point? It's like a block stance. Okay. <laughs> you can hold them or do perfect parries. Okay. <laughs> Waited for you to end your parry. Okay, By the way, I'm gonna be playing Guilty Gear soon. <laughs> Uh, watch out for that stream. I'm doing a Guilty Gear stream soon, yeah. Which Guilty Gear Strive? I have never played the game. I got into the tutorial and I was like, this is too much, but... We'll see how it goes. Are you gonna use Soul? I'll wait till the end of this video. I'll tell you in a second. I have to look at the roster. Uh, All right, so they're just mashing. We already <laughs> talked about. It. It's uh, I it's a. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Sweating. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fine mode. Um, it does. Uh, I I think the the big question is like, does this make things too? Are we straying too far from God's light? <laughs> are we too far away from what makes fighting games great? And I think that conversation is a little bit up its own ass, but there's something to be said for it. And also, I don't play fighting games, so it feels shitty for me to say, right? I shouldn't be the one to make that judgment. Uh, but hopefully it'll bring in a different crowd, like a younger crowd, you know? Uh, what other classic Street Fighter costumes would you like to see return in Street Fighter? I don't know. Classic costumes? Is that what's happening here? I, I, I don't know. The cool one. I think these are for the fighting game people to uh, <laughs> to answer. Do you think Capcom should bring back guest costumes like Gia's Skullomania and Chun-Li is Morgan? Why or why not? No, just make Darkstalkers. Make more games. They're just, they're pulling it all into one game. Just make more games, bro. Lazy ass. You just make one fighting game now. Work. Do your job. <laughs> The hell? Come on. No. Don't make a Morrigan skin. Make a Morrigan, you know? Coney's going to try Happy Chaos, and we'll all be miserable. Hold on. All right, let me sign off, and then we'll talk about Guilty Gear. Anyway, dynamic fighting looks cool. It looks pretty fun. What do you think? Comment below. Subscribe. Uh, maybe I'll see you in a few months. I don't know. Stay cool, Panda Fighting Games. Goodbye. I hope they don't give me the outro. <laughs> I, I, I'd be mad if, if Coney was all over my fighting game video. Every time I show up, they're like, who's this fucking guy? <laughs> Actually, that's not true. Usually, they're nice. Usually, they're nice to me. Okay. I think... So, I used to play uh, Guilty Gear X2, XX, whatever it is. I was a chip player. I loved chip. I don't think I'm a chip player now. My sensibilities are very different. I'm not a rushdown guy. I played chip, venom, and slayer back then. That was a long time ago. Um, which is weird because I don't play any of those types now. Which is like what venom is like set play. I don't even know what slayer is. He was I played him very little, but 
I love Venom. Um, if I played now... Damn, he's called one shot? <laughs> if I played now based on how they look, like, based on how I've seen them fight and their look, I think Leo, Gold Lewis, or Chaos. I would love Eno. I think she's a sick design. She's too hard. I'm not doing it. I I think she's the coolest design, but she's too hard. I'm not doing that. Chaos isn't? Oh, is he? I don't know if he's hard. <laughs> I don't know. I just know Eno's hard because she's in, in, been in past games. Happy Chaos, I don't know how hard he is. I just know he shoots. Is there like a difficulty thing? Easy to use. Yeah, he's easy. What the heck? <laughs> See? Chaos is 10 times harder. Nuh uh. Not what the site says. Oh. <laughs> Wait, then who's hard? Oh, I played a bit at Anji, too. Who do they think is hard? More stars is easy? Oh. Then who's easy and hard? Uh oh, she's easy. Okay. Potemkin has got to be. It's it, Potemkin is hard because, like, that's the grappler question. Grapplers are easy until you fight real people. Play May. She's five stars, right? Everybody talks about May. Ram. My friend plays Ram, and he says because she's easy. Oh, apparently not. Kai is easy. Yo, who's the five star? Ah. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was going to say, they're really trying to get people into the Ryu and the Ken. Sure. I think I'm a Leo guy, bro. I like Leo. I think he's neat. Probably that guy. I'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm definitely not a Zotto player, though. Fuck that. Or Testament or any hard character. So. I feel like Leo, if if he's hard, then not him. Maybe Gold Lewis. I think he's neat. I would like to play Potemkin because I like grapplers and throw people, but I also get annoyed over playing them in games that I don't know very well. I feel like to play a grappler in a fighting game, you have to, like, you have to, you don't need to be, how do I put this? You can't be a novice at the game itself to be a grappler player. Does that make sense? Because you have to understand the mechanics and how to exploit them. You have to know how to uh, create fear in the opponent by exploiting mechanics in the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not like you have to be like super top level at the game itself, just specifically knowing things about it. Like forcing burst, um, putting people in a corner, you know, it's like, it's different. Anyway, I'll be playing that later, but... Uh, oh, wait, I was looking at the... Did I not have this on screen the whole time? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking about this for a while. Oh, yeah, I was talking about this. I didn't realize I didn't have monitor capture up. Whoops. Yeah. That's obscene. I can't... I still can't believe this. That's too much. Good fucking lord. All right, I'm going to bed. Uh, no stream Sunday because I'm going to be at a lake. We're going to raid Vine Sauce because Vinny was very nice to me and invited me to Among Us. And I'm very thankful even though I didn't get to fucking play it. Ugh! Do we know when React War is? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday is React Wars. Okay. We're going to do React Wars. I got to go pack, clean out my car, do some stuff, get ready to pick up my friends. Uh, yeah, so I will catch you guys soon. Uh, Tuesday is Reactors. Wednesday is, I don't know, but I'm not streaming next Thursday because I'm going to Canada, so. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for no Among Us. I'm so sad. I'll fix the cam. Sorry it was dark tonight, but. All right, goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.